Salam sejahtera kebebasia and a very good evening ladies and gentlemen. The Kodakinabalu Festival of Theatre and Storytelling and the TASEL Students of Institute Medikan Guru Campus Gaya Kodakinabalu welcome you to this evening's production of the play Twelfth Night, which is part of the KK Arts Festival 2016. At this time, we ask that you turn off all your mobile phones and please refrain from any flash photography which may distract the actors. And if you need to leave the hall for any reason, please use the main entrance. Kindly refrain from using the side door. Thank you and we hope you enjoy tonight's performance. Who is this, my friend? This is Illyria, Daniel. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, my brother is in heaven. Or, or maybe by some chance, he didn't drown. 
Well, what do you think, Sina? Just the chance that you yourself were saved. Oh, oh my poor brother. But, but maybe by some clue, he was saved too. It's possible, man. Don't give up yet. When our ship was wrecked, I saw your brother tie himself to a big man floating in the sea. As long as I could see him, he stayed float on the way. Thank you for saying that. Since I survived, it's easy for me to imagine that he survived too. Do you know this country? Yes, ma'am. I know it well. I was born and rest less than three hours from here. Who's the ruler here? A duke who is noble in them and character. What's his name? Orsino. Orsino? I've heard my father mention him. He was a bachelor then. He was a bachelor, or at least he was a month ago when I left. But there was a rumor, you know, people talk about royalty that he was in the beautiful Olivia. Who is she? A choice young woman. The daughter of a count who died last year. Her brother tells her of her for a while, but then he died too. They say she is totally spot of men now in memory of her brother. Oh, I wish I could work for that lady. It'd be a good way for me to hide myself from the world before the time is right to identify myself. That would be hard to do. She would allow anyone in to see her, not even the Duke's messenger. Oh, you seem like a good captain, sir. Ha! Oh, please, I pay you plenty for this. I have to work for this too. Help me conceal my identity. I can really sing and talk about different kind of music. So, so, he'll be happy to have me in his service. Yes, but, but please, don't tell anyone about what I'm trying to do here. Swear on my life, I will tell you soon. Thank you. Now, show me the way. Sweet, sir. 
But why do you say so? Well, <coughs> you'll be dead, so he won't see anything. Oh God, shut up, you troublemaker. Here comes my lady. Good thing. Get that food out of here. Did you hear her? Take the lady out of here. <laughs> I told him to take you away. The lady kept wanted to take away the food, so I'm telling you again. Take her away. <laughs> oh, go away. You're a boring fool. Besides, I don't want to have to do anything to you. My dear madam, let me prove that you are a fool. Then go ahead and prove it. My dear madam, why, why, why are you in mourning? My dear fool, because my brother died. <gasps> I think the soul's in hell, my lady. I'm sure his soul is in heaven, fool. Then you're a fool for being said that your brother's soul's in heaven. Take away the fool, gentlemen. <laughs> what do you think of this fool, my fool? Isn't he getting fun yet? I'm surprised you still enjoy the company of this stupid troublemaker. <laughs> Look at him. He's at loss of words already. You speak so highly of fools. I hope the god of deception rewards you by making your wonderful life. Was he sent by Count Orsino? I don't know, madam, but he's a good-looking young man, and there is a lot to convince him. Who's talking to him now? The soul be, madam? Oh, that is just a real big fool. He talks nothing but nonsense. Well, good fool. Go out and talk to him. If he's got a message from the Count, <coughs> tell him I'm sick, or I'm not sick. Tell him anything you want, as long as you get rid of him. Madam, madam, that young man out there says he's going to speak to you. I told him you were sick, but he claims to know that. It's the last thing he wants to speak to you. I told him you were asleep, but he claims to know that already. Said that's the reason why I want to speak to you. I do not know what to tell you, my lady. Yes, an answer for everything. <laughs> tell him he's not going to speak. Oh, I told him that. And he says he stands like a signpost at your door until you talk to him. What kind of man is he? What does he look like? How old is he? Well, he is not old enough to be a man, but not enough, young enough to be a boy either. He is very handsome and speaks well, but he's very young. Bring him. Call him my Maria! All lady wants you! <laughs> Give me my face. Come. Put it over my face. You're going to hear Orsino's pleas again. <laughs> Which one of you is the lady of the house? You can speak to me. I represent her. Oh, that stunning, exquisite, and unmatchable beauty. Are you the lady of the house? Because I've never seen her. I hear too much my speech on the wrong person. Because it is very well written. And I spend a lot of time memorizing it. Where do you come from, sir? I'm sorry, madam. But that question is in the part of my speech. Just for me. Are you the lady of the house? So that I can go with my speech. Are you an actor? No, madam. But I'm certainly not the person I'm playing. Are you the lady of the house? I am. Unless I somehow stole it. If you're the lady of the house, then it's true. You're still in your role. 
Because what's yours to give away is not yours to give by yourself. Please, tell me what you want. I've got a message to deliver, and it's about you. I'm not bringing any declaration of war or any demand for cash. I'm coming in peace. But you began so rudely. Who are you? <coughs> what do you want? I began so rudely. That's because of how badly I was treated when I first got here. Who I am and what I want are secret. And you're the only one I can share the sacred, secret with. Very well. All right. Leave us alone for a moment. I've got a secret. Secret. Now, sir, what's this holy secret that you're about to tell me? Oh, sweet lady. Oh, sweet. It sounds like a nice and gentle kind of thing. Where's the holy scripture that you're basing a servant on? In Orsino's heart? In his heart? In what verse and chapter of his heart? Well, Table of Contents states, it is in the first chapter of his heart. Oh, I've read that. Do you have anything else to say? Mm -hmm. Madam, may I see your face? Has your Lord given you any orders to negotiate with my faith? I don't think so. You're overstepping a bounds now. But I'll open the curtains and I'll let you see the picture. Now, son, this is a portrait of me as I am in this particular moment. It's pretty well done, isn't it? <laughs> it was done excellently. It's all natural to regard me. Oh, it's all natural. Wind and wind can't wash it off. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true beauty. Mother Nature herself can make your skin. So white. Your lips. Oh, so red. And wonderful, my lady. You'd be the cruelest woman alive if you let your beauty die softly. No children to inherit for the future generation to enjoy. Oh. I'd never be that cruel. I'll write out a detailed inventory and label every part of my paper. For example, item, two lips, ordinary red, item, two gray eyes with lips on them, item, one neck, one chin, and so on. Anyway, are you here just to tell me that I'm beautiful? Oh, I see what you are. You're proud, but you still be gorgeous, even if you're as proud as the devil. My lady, my Lord bless you. should be turned to the best, as he is. How does he love you? Oh, the door cries and sighs and groans for you. The Lord knows what I do. I can't bless you. I know this noble, rich, young, and with fine reputation, but I just can't bless you. My lady, I love you as passionately as he does, as softly as he does. Her rejection would make no sense to me. I wouldn't understand it. I would build a sad little cabin near your house. I'd write sad songs about the people of love and sing it in the middle of the night. I'd shout out your names on the hills and make the air echo with it. Olivia! Oh, Olivia! <laughs> My lady, you wouldn't be able to do anything without being sorry for me. Not that. You might accomplish something. <coughs> now go back to your Lord. Tell him I can't let you. 
Don't even want to send me any more messages. Unless you feel like coming back to tell me how it's the bad news. Goodbye now. Thanks for your trouble. Goodbye, you beautiful, cruel woman. <laughs> Your way of talking, your face, your body, your behavior, and your sensitive soul all proves that you're a gentleman. Oh, how strange I'm feeling. Can someone fall in love this quickly? If only his lord were more like him. Malvolio? <coughs> At your service, my lady. One of the Duke's servants, he insisted on giving this ring with me whether I wanted it or not. If that young man comes back again tomorrow, I'll tell him why. Hurry, well. Madam, I will. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm afraid I'm not using my head. Fate, do your work. We human beings don't control our own destinies. What is fated to happen must happen. So let it happen. Excuse me, excuse me. Weren't you with the Countess Olivia just now? Yes, sir. I've only been with this far since I left the place. Well, she's sending you back this week. She wants you to make it very clear to your lord that she wants nothing to do with it and that you should never come again on his behalf unless you want to tell her how he reacted to the bad news. Oh, but she took that ring from me. I won't take it back. Oh, no, 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 no. You truly let her ruin me. If it's worth bending over, there it is on the floor. If not, whoever finds it can have it. Huh. <laughs> I didn't give her any ring. What she's trying to say? I hope she doesn't have a crush on me. 
wrote some mysterious love letters on his farm, and he'll think they're addressed to him. And guess what? I can make my handwriting look just like Lady Olivia. Excellent. Sounds like you've got a good trick in mind. I like it too. Me too. Well, I'll help you to hide and you to also right where you'll find the letter. And you can see his reaction there. He's going to look like a total idiot. Oh, absolutely, you idiot. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be fun, I promise you. Meanwhile, let's go to bed and hear about this. Good night. Good night, you amazing woman. Oh, come here, you little chubby. She is a fine woman. <laughs> she is a good little woman. And she adores me. And what about it? <laughs> Someone who brought them once to me. Play me some music. Don't compare a woman's love for a man. 
My love for Olivia. Yes, but I know. What do you know? I know a lot about Ruth's love, my love. The heart, her sensitive and loyal as hearts. My father, he had a daughter who is in love with the men once, the same way that I might be in love. I will <laughs> And what's the story? There was some story, sir. She never told him that she's in love with him. She just kept on feeling bottled up inside her. She just sat there waiting patiently, smiling in spite of her sadness. Doesn't that sound like true love, sir? We men might talk more and promise more, but in fact, we talk more than what we feel. We might be good at making promises and making vows without love. Our love isn't that sincere. But did your sister die of love? I am the only daughter of my father's family. And all the brothers too. Huh? Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm not completely sure about that. Uh, anyway, so, uh, do you need me to go to campus, uh, Olivia? Yes. Go quickly and give her this jewel. Tell her. My love won't go away and won't be denied.
But when here is the most thing. You must have figured out who I am by now. If you love me, let me know by smiling at me. <laughs> I am so attracted when you smile at me. Please, smile at me whenever you hear me. Your dearest darling. Oh dear God, thank you. I'll do everything what she asked me to. <laughs> even for a page and a thousand of pounds to be paid by the chef. I could marry that Maria for thinking this up. So could I. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
since you enjoy helping me so much, I won't let you to stop anymore. I couldn't stay behind after you left because I was worried about what might happen to you since you're not familiar with this place. My friend Antonio, all I can say is thank you. If I had any money right now, I'd back up my credit card with some cash. Anyway, what should we do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Ah, we should make sure you have somewhere to stay. I'm not tired, and night is a long time away. Come on, let's go see the sights. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't. You see, it's dangerous for me to walk in these streets. Once in a battle at sea, I did a lot of damage to Colosseo's warships. If they arrest me here, it'd be the end of me. Then don't make yourself become speakers. <laughs> You're right. Ah, hang on a minute. Here's some money for you. Why are you giving me a purse? Maybe you'll see some little trinket you want to buy. I thought you've got enough money for little purchases like that. All right, then. I'll hold on to your money and leave you for an hour. Goodbye, Antonio. Goodbye. Where is he, for God's sake? 
I got even carried all the devils in hell crammed together to possess him. I still want to speak to him. Oh, yes. How are you, sir? Oh, go away, all of you. Let me enjoy my privacy. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. Oh, listen to this scary devil talking from inside me. Did I tell you, Mr. Toby, that the Olivia wants you to take care of him? Bless you. Do you even know what you're talking about? See? He has insulted when I said bad things about the devil. Oh, I hope to God he's not being weak. What are you trying to say, mistress? Please, say Toby, can you say his prayers, Sir Toby, please? <coughs> My prayers? Oh, go hang yourselves, all of you. You're all lazy and shadow. You're not like it. I have a higher future waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> in a dark room and tie him up. We can go like this, punishing him and having some fun until we are tired of him. Then we can take mercy on him and let him out and talk about how well the job went. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> yes, the challenge. Read it. He's bursting with fighting words. Read it. Is it that I guess? Yes, it is. I think so. Just read it. Someone, but someone 
is waiting for you at the back of the ocean. It's filled up and got thirsty. And God is waiting for you at the back of the ocean. You want to fly with you? Oh. <laughs> it is so skillful and deadly. Uh, but sir, there must be some mistake. I'm sure nobody would have any reason to fight with me. I can't remember doing anything to offend anyone. You're wrong about that, I assure you. So if you value your life, be on your guard. But sir, who is this person? He's alive, but when he's fighting, the civilian here is a real monster. And the only thing that will satisfy him is saying, you die. This is as good as it is strange. Sir, do me one thing. Find out what I've done to offend you. It, it must be something I did accidentally. Oh, I will do so.
You said that I had been ungrateful man. More than I had lying, vanity, babbling, drunk. Oh my sick. God! Come on, sir. Please, let's go. But oh, what did he see when he turned out to be? You don't live up to your good looks, Sebastian. You look good, but you're bad on the inside. The man's going crazy. Take him away. Take me. Oh.
Please tell me, how am I related to you? What's your name? How are your parents? I'm from Messily. My father's name was Sebastian. My brother. He was named Sebastian too. If you will tell, I'd have you know him cry over from that John Pyola. Um, my father. He had a mole on his forehead. Mine did too. He died on Viola and Viola's second birthday. Oh, I remember that very thing. He died when my sister turned 13. Oh, we'll come back to you too, my dear brother. But if the only reason that keeping us from rejoicing is the fact that I'm still in my men's clothes, then don't help me. No. <laughs> Right. We'll all get married. Mm -hmm. Until then, 
I'll keep calling Mrs. Zari while you're still a man. But when I see you in women's clothing, you'll be the queen of my dreams. Arsinos, true love. Good night.